Hey everybody, welcome to Digital Charcuterie. It's me, Andrew Fantasia. The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom has been out for almost a month and it has been the time sink to end all time sinks. I absolutely adore this game. And just like with, you know, keeping in, in tune with the Zelda uh, sort of mission statement, it's all about making cool discoveries. And I have definitely made my share of them since I started playing. So this video is going to be my five favorite things that I have discovered or stumbled upon in Tears of the Kingdom. Coming in at number five, the nostalgic fabric. This one was actually a tip given to me by one of my students, and I love this. I love this whole idea of like, you give tips to people and you tell them secrets and rumors, because that reminds me of the NES days. But the nostalgic fabric is a fabric that you can find up in the bell tower of the Temple of Time, and it's a fabric that you can get uh, applied to your paraglider to make it look like the paraglider from Breath of the Wild. Very fun stuff. Also, I should mention that these are going to be pretty spoilery. If you want to avoid spoilers of any kind for Tears of the Kingdom, maybe wait a while before you watch this. Coming up next is the Yiga Clan. I did not expect the Yiga Clan to show up in this game at all, let alone their master, Koga, who was running around, running his mouth off in the depths, which makes perfect sense because in the depths, uh, is where he would have ended up because you threw him down a hole in the first game. So when he popped up, that was a very pleasant surprise. Uh, he's a boss battle that I have not tackled yet because I was still pretty weak when I stumbled upon him, which is the beauty of Zelda. You just encounter things in random orders. Number three, my favorite, my third favorite discovery, I mean, of the game so far has been the fact that you can make pizza. Pizza has been added to the recipes of things Link can cook in Hyrule. I think the ingredients you need are tomatoes, wheat, and cheese, and maybe something else that I'm forgetting. But man, is it ever satisfying to see Link eat a pizza. It's so cool. My number two favorite discovery is King Gleok. They added Gleoks to the game as if the Lynels weren't hard enough. Uh, the Gleoks came along and said, hold my beer. And we have overworld bosses that are so flipping hard i have yet to scratch one with my weapons and i have encountered four of them already but this one was up on an island in the sky i saw this island and i thought hmm what's that over there let me check that out and as soon as i landed i immediately regretted it because a giant king gliok uh swooped down upon me and destroyed me so utterly that i didn't even have a chance to fight back i just apologized for bothering him and then i curled up into a ball and died uh, one day I'll be strong enough to kill Gleox, but today is not that day. And my number one favorite discovery I have made in Zelda Tears of the Kingdom is the Fierce Deity clothing set. The clothing sets from Breath of the Wild were outstanding. I love the callbacks to all the previous games, but all of a sudden they double down on that and along comes the Fierce Deity clothing set from Majora's Mask, the clothing that you could only get in that game if you ran around and got all the masks and did all these crazy obstacle courses on the moon. And not only that, but Tears of the Kingdom gives you the Fierce Deity sword too. It doesn't shoot beams, but damn, is it nice. And is it cool to see Link decked out in that armor again for the first time in what, like 24 years? Ah, beautiful. So those are my favorite discoveries. What are yours? What have you stumbled upon in Zelda? That's the beauty of this game. There's so much to find and uncover. Ah, it might be the perfect game. Let us know, like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And until next time, may you be the masters of your own universe.